the size of the box alone is huge. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lydia. If you're new on here, hey, what's up? Welcome. I'm Lydia. I create lifestyle travel, fitness, all types of vlogs. So please do subscribe if you haven't. My aim is to get to 225 subscribers by the end of February so please do help your girl out on her journey also don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you do enjoy this video so guys exciting package look at the size of this box this box it's huge it's actually a gift it's inside here is full of gifts from home essentials um and they are basically it's like a homeware brand and they've got just some bits that they sent me over and i just cannot wait to share them with you i've had this sitting on my floor for like a few days now and really i've just been itching to open it i wanted to open it on camera let me just show you one thing let me just show you this guys look more glasses i have been meaning to replace my water glasses and these are just oh god lydia with the glass obsession these are going to replace my regular degular glasses let me show you my regular ones the glow up from left to right so i've got six of these and i'm so excited thank you so much to home essentials um for gifting me these gorgeous the whole entire thing actually absolutely stunning water glasses if you want to see the rest of the stuff in the box then be sure to go and follow me on my Inga home because i'm going to be showing you guys all of the other stuff as well as that that's not the only thing that i've got on my surface this is huge there's also my Ocado shopping. Oh my God. So Ocado offers a wide range of products which are really great value for money. And they're also super easy and convenient to order from. To be honest, I think people might be confused and think that Ocado is an expensive place to order from, but it's actually the opposite. As I said, they provide really great value for money, especially on their own range, kind of like this. This is the Ocado range right here. I've got British drumstick chickens and I've got here some lean 5% fat steak mints. This is just right up my alley for my new lifestyle change, they say. We always say it's a lifestyle change, but do we really mean it or is it just for the wedding? This is probably one of the best week shops that I have done in a while. I've got some meat selection, I've got some veg, I've got some cupboard stuff. Okada really has a huge selection of products, product ranges for you to try. So I am so excited. Let me get, let me show you, let me show you a few of these things. Let me show you a few things that I'm actually excited about. So here is what my food shop looks like. Loads of protein on the side there. Got veg, got some like oils and nuts on the side. Oh my God, guys, look at this. This is the first time that I've ever seen hard goat's cheese. As you can see, <laughs> I've already dealt with this. This is one of the products from the Okada own range and it tastes so good. It's actually great for salads. I just chopped it up into little cubes. I got these two as snacks. These are actually really great snacks with like just some yogurt. Really, really great snacks. And then, ah. Oh, Peru, Kenya, Peru, Peru, Kenya. These are <laughs> tender stem broccolis. And I was gonna have these with this. This is salmon fillets. Again, these are all from the Ocado own range and they're really well priced. And as you can see, really good quality products too. So as well as that, what else am I thinking? Ah, broccoli. And this was actually inspired by my 13 year old cousin. Shout out to you, Tom. Shout out to you, I love you so much. He is a superstar. And when we went home over the New Year's, he made this absolutely banging broccoli. I guess I wouldn't call it broccoli dish because it was just broccoli by itself, but the way he cooked it, normally people just boil broccoli. This smart, 13 year old literally came up with a whole different way of cooking it and it tastes so delicious so that's literally why i got this so okado suits any budget any taste and any shopping style they also offer ordering with 24 hours to go and deliver straight to your door okado are also currently offering free delivery on your first shop so please be sure to click the link in my description box and get your first shop delivered for free guys i'm going to make i'm gonna make this tonight but first of all we gotta clear the fridge because my fridge is a giant cake in my fridge. They sent a giant sponge cake in my fridge. And as you can see, a babe does not have time for sponge cake. Guys, so this is what my fridge looks like. It's a hot mess. It, it's, a, it's a hot mess. In fact, I think like 
30% of my fridge is being taken up by this giant vanilla sponge cake. This is not part of the lifestyle. She gotta go. I'm basically just gonna time lapse you guys as I tidy up and sort out my fridge and pack away all of my food into the freezer as well. The freezer needs the freezer. Oh, the freezer needs a good tidy too. And these are some steaks that I picked up. So in order for them to fit my um, fridge better, I just cut them. I just cut it in half like this, and then I can stack it on top of each other and that takes up way less space, you know? And I'm probably just gonna eat one at each time. So I wanna try and efficiently repack this freezer. Mm. All right, guys, let us get making this broccoli. Snacking on blackberries. Mmm, it's giving time fast sticks. Okay. I'm gonna need a no, guys, let me be honest, right? <laughs> let me tell you what. I should just actually just use this. This is the always pan, guys. I definitely have to say a little word on it because... So I was gifted this pan by our place and it's called the always pan, guys. Like, so many... Honestly, I can't lie. I just see it online with a lot of creators. A lot of creators have it. Um, I guess they did a pretty big push on gifting and stuff. I got a review from one of you lovely ladies who had actually bought the pan and said that they really enjoyed the pan for the first like six months and then after six months, apparently it wasn't, it wasn't giving, it wasn't doing anything. Like apparently um, this had come off, this had all scratched off at the back and it just, it wasn't, the nonstick had disappeared. So now I feel really like, I feel really torn because personally, like genuinely, I'm enjoying the pan and the pan isn't giving me any troubles but then again like I've literally had it for like a month now probably just less than a month so I'm going to keep you guys updated I will carry on using it because I am actually enjoying it <laughs> and it's non-stick and you can do so much in it like I've fried chicken in it beforehand um now I'm about to cook something it's like a pan that you're meant to do loads of stuff with but the reviews the reviews are a bit you know let's be real so anyway Searching here, what do I need? I need a pan, onions, broccoli, roco, beef cubes. So cute, like he even wrote me. <laughs> oh, I'm tripping for no reason. Um, even wrote me little instructions on how to do it. Fry onions in oil uh, in a pan until they turn golden brown. Add broccoli, fry broccoli with onion until turning golden brown. Crumble beef cube, add oil and water. Don't overcook, make sure it's still green. So cute. Try and cut them into smaller pieces. When he made it, they were like, they were a lot smaller. It shouldn't be like this big. They were a lot smaller than that. Make these golden brown, as he said. And then what was the next step? After you fry them until that they're golden brown, you put the broccoli. Fry the broccoli until the onions turn even more. Go ahead and crumble a beef cube like he said I should. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of water and also the roiko mix as well. And then at the back there I've got my salmon. I've got my salmon going because I just wanna cook that too. Adding some roiko. Oh guys, look, is that is it sticking? Did I speak too soon? Did I speak too soon? Maybe not. So I added the roco and then he says add a little bit of water. A little bit of water and then let it cook, but don't overcook it. All right. I'm gonna cover that up and leave it cooking for another minute or so and then take it off. Cause we want it when it's still green and crunchy. Look, look 
that it looks perfect it looks just like when he made it now let's taste it this looks way this looks way better than just boiled broccoli i'll tell you that for free did i put any salt i didn't put any salt recipe links in the description box recipe linked for this one this is banging this is delicious oh my goodness i wish i made two two what you call them two two broccolis two stems of broccoli i wish i made two stems of two what is a broccoli whichever one two of them i wish i made those this is delicious this is absolutely banging oh my god is it too late to call him i'd love to call him Absolutely slapping. Okay. Guys, look at this food and tell me that health is not wealth. This tastes so good and it is so, so, so clean. Literally veg and salmon but with flavor and flavor, for real. <laughs> and look, I'm also using my new, is it a plate, is it a dish? I'm using my new dish that I got um, from HomeSense. Like I, I love, I love a pretty dish. I think it just makes all the difference. I'm gonna sit on the sofa and just catch up on TV. And I think before I even go to bed, put away these. Remember I bought the basket last time? But first, oh. my food down in about seven minutes <laughs> literally that was so tasty i wish i had more literally wish i had more but that is going to be a new recipe absolutely top tier recommend anyway so this is where i want to keep my throws this here guys on the side here is um the little basket this is like it's not not the most aesthetically pleasing situation but it's the only place i have to put my shoes because it's either that i put my shoes in that basket and the door is normally open like this so you can't normally see it or i put my shoes right there as you walk in and i absolutely cannot do that and especially putting it like like a little shoe rack underneath the radiator hell no immediately no so that's why i have this shoe um dispenser here at the back these are dots new balenciagas they're so nice but they're just so big so so big they remind me of my white white ones that was a moment i'm kind of over it now though but um but they're nice still they're really nice but we only put shoes in here that are being like used like immediately does that make sense so we don't store shoes in here we just well we do store shoes in here but we don't store shoes here long term it's just shoes that you need to grab to go out quickly so these are the trainers that i was wearing earlier and these uh, these should not be in here these are dots air forces yeah and then my booze trainers are in there spare pair but anyway this is um this is what i came here to do i wanted to just put my blankets in here i have so many of them and i intend on buying more like every time i go to tk maxx every time i go to home sense i'm just like another one <laughs> soft ones white ones textured ones but they're all kind of this off cream color the really soft ones stay on the sofa but i think i want to have it just kind of slightly hanging out so that people know what this basket is for because otherwise if we just close the lid you might think that i'm storing something else in there but if i have this hanging on the top with the lid closed like this it makes it clear that this is for does that look cute yeah love it love it loves it or oh, tell me you can also just put it in if that's annoying you you could just also put it in and close it you know and then that way it's nice and neat oh there we go we can do that if i put it like that then it looks like there's stuff in there that you can take out i don't know what to do like this what are we saying open a little bit option two like this or option three fully closed let me know in the comments because right now i'm leaning towards towards this
some mousse on my hair. I'm doing my hair this morning, which is very off-brand for me, but <laughs> the only reason I'm actually doing this is because I actually just want time to catch up on this. Married at First Sight Australia, season six, addicted, literally addicted. Dot got me hooked and that's it for me. Um, so yeah, I was just re really just trying to get some time to watch it this morning by multitasking to do my hair. This morning we've got a few errands to run. First errand, I need to go to the charity shop to drop off some things. Um, and then second errand, a little bit of a different one, I need to go to Pandora or a jewellery store and go and get my ring sized again. Probably wondering like, Lydia, why do you want to get your ring sized when you've got a whole engagement ring on your finger? But the thing is, my boo and I got my finger sized and then he got my ring made. But once I got the ring, it just didn't fit. So my fingers are actually a lot smaller. And the jeweler, when I went to get my ring resized smaller, he was using like others, other, and a whole other measuring system. Like, because we normally like, use numbers, like I was a five, size five, but then his was like letters, double letters. And I was just like, what's going on? <laughs> so I need to go and get my finger resized again because I want to get a second ring. I'm gonna have two rings, a ring B or a dummy ring. Everyone calls it different things, but this is just basically um, the kind of when some brides choose to have two rings so that you can basically go and travel with it. You guys know I'm a traveling babe. I'm always out of the country, always doing water sports. One minute fracturing ribs here, next minute doing that, trying to jump out of planes. Like, you guys know my vibe. It's very hectic and it's very adrenaline filled, a lot of adventure, a lot of sport. That doesn't really go well with a very gorgeous, sentimental ring like this. Like, I just, the thought of losing my ring makes me sad genuinely brings sadness to me so i don't want that to ever happen so instead of doing that uh, i'm just not gonna wear my ring when i'm out of the country and yes you can just insure it um but it's not about it being insured because i just don't want to lose it <laughs> does that make sense i just don't want to lose it so i want to go for a second ring which is going to be like my i guess people call it a dummy ring but i'm not going to call it a dummy ring because it's still going to be a beautiful ring and that i'll feel a lot more comfortable to wear abroad countries doing sports doing activities so you know that i'm engaged but it's not my real engagement ring child no chance this will be here safe <laughs> so that's what we need to go and do go and get my ring finger resized and then i can order a ring in fact me sorry my boo could order me another ring i'm so excited about this i feel a bit bad for him but i mean <laughs> Do you want to use this one or not? <laughs> yeah, no, he's more than happy to, obviously. He's more than happy to. So yeah, that's that's what we need to go and do today and then probably hit the gym at some point. But I don't know. Let me watch a little bit more of this as I get dressed and then let us head out. So I'll never know when you're gonna change it to. So basically the gifts that I need to take to charity is a lot of stuff that came in PR that I just don't need. Puzzles, jumpers, some old nest stuff that I've got tons of. Beauty kit. There's just so many different things that came in PR that I just don't need. So we'll take these. So I'm at Pandora and this is what I'm gonna use to measure my sizing. We've got these here. But I wonder if they have any more. So I'll quickly do this. Mm, that's the smallest one they even have. Still a bit loose. Rings just don't fit me all that. 48. Stop by Primark because Kike, Kike was saying that they have really nice um, gowns, robes, PJs. You guys know I love me a robe. I literally live in my house in robes, so I'm here to try and see if I can pick up some. I like, I love this one here. It's very colourful. It's very bright, but I like the vibe. It even comes as a top. Though the only thing is that I don't like these kind of tops for. Um, PJ tops because I don't have the perkiest of boobs. <laughs> so this to me just 
gives me like anxiety having to wear it. When I'm in the house, I don't like to wear a bra, so I wouldn't necessarily pick this. But a robe or a top, I like this. It's giving eclectic, it's giving loud, but I like this. I like this a lot. I might get this with the trousers, and then there's also another one that I actually saw. The one that I saw Kike wearing, the black and white one, that's obviously coming home. I like these shorts though, look at this. I think it's cute. I'm not sure about Primark sizing sometimes. This looks a little bit, a little bit bigger than I would have thought for a medium, but I mean, they are PJs. Also, just in case you're in the lookout, Primark seem to be doing um, the skims, dupes, bum lift shorts, and they have them in all colors. They've got them in taupe, they've got them in sand, they've got it in black and they've got it in fig as well for the brown skin girls i wish there was more color options between between fig this is the other one mocha but i wish there was more brown colors but anyway if you're looking come and try these out i haven't tried them myself but they're there guys primark home is hitting let me show you a few bits that i've just seen that i am so obsessed with so okay first things first this bowl guys this bowl is so cute i love the forest green color love the irregular shape of it um it's also like got some kind of gold rimming on the side i love it and it's got a nice pattern as well if i zoom in you can see i'm coming closer guys this bowl is only three pounds 15. i'm purchasing like two of these absolutely like it's just i have to do it also seen these glasses these short rimmed um tumbler glasses guys i have an obsession with the glasses it's it's a problem that i'm very happy to deal with <laughs> i have an obsession with glasses and these come as a pack of two let me show you it's so cute they come as a pack of two for five pounds two glasses for five pounds yesterday i spent a good part of 10 minutes of my on my call to my fiance yesterday explaining how excited i was about my new water glasses <laughs> and he was like you're mad <laughs> yes you're marrying a mad woman so it is what it is also seen this tray i think it's so cute i love the irregular shape of it again i've decided i'm gonna get this i'm definitely gonna get this as well these two good afternoon guys back home i've just been on the phone to mela mela is just such a sweetheart every time i speak to her i literally feel so much better about myself she's always showering me with compliments always showering me with compliments i have 11 minutes to eat my lunch which I have in my new bowl <laughs> and my lunch guys. Oh, my lunch, I am today trying black bean spaghetti. I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch with some halloumi and some prawns. And the prawns are the ones that I got from Mokado. And I just, this week I said, I'm gonna be cooking all of my meals. All of my meals will be cooked in this house. I nearly even stopped by to pick up food and I was like, why? when I have a whole stocked fridge, you know? Hmm, I don't hate it at all. Soybean, is it soybean or black bean? I don't hate it at all. It's a bit dry, it's not very like bouncy, like pasta is, <laughs> but this would be a good replacement, I can't lie. Because it has a crunch and it has a texture, it's right. The texture of the other ones that we tried was just plastic. This doesn't taste like plastic at all. I'm gonna hold on sharing until I try it a few times with a few more recipes. Then I'll come confidently to you guys. I'm gonna miss all the win. So I'm going to have my lunch very quickly and enjoy it even more because it's in this bowl and then have this call. One after my call, I'm going to do a quick primate call for you guys and then I'm going to call it a day for today. I'm taking the afternoon off work. I'm chilling. I am ch <laughs> Why did I hit my head? I'm chilling this afternoon and I can't wait. Mm, married at first sight. You calling my name. We got, we got eight minutes. My story that didn't go for very long like maybe one so a little while later i've had my lunch taken my call i wanted to quickly quickly show you the bits that i got from primark like super quick before i dash so first thing i got was this plain black dress i got it in a size extra small it looks like the zara two-piece leggings but just like in a dress version so i picked this up as well as the brown version it's the same really looking forward to trying these on actually I just can't be bothered to do it now. And then I picked this up. This is a satin kind of pink dress. Why did I get this? I feel like, I don't even know why I got this to be honest. I think maybe I'm just thinking about trips, any upcoming trips. 
this might look nice but i haven't tried any of this stuff on so i need to try it on first to let you guys know but really what i went in for is this this is the gown let me just show you this quickly guys this is really what i wanted i went and got this gown which i think looks cute does it look cute i think it does yeah it's cute a little polka dot oh polka dot gown to go with my polka dot bowl but yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, and then of course, these last two things. This bowl that I already showed you guys. I'm obsessed with this bowl. I love the shape of it. And this tray, which is also gold rimmed at the top. And I'm gonna be using this in a bathroom um, as a place to hold our incense. That's pretty much it, guys. That is my haul. That is the video. I think I'm gonna end it here. I don't know how long this vlog is, but I hope that it is a good length for you guys to enjoy. If you haven't subscribed and you've watched until this point, please what are you doing go and subscribe click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and i will have to see you guys in my next bye guys Mwah.